Hey there, welcome to BA211. I just wanted to cover a few quick tips and tricks as far as uh, what to expect as you start out the course here this semester. Uh, biggest thing I would hit right out the gate is CAPSIM. So it might seem pretty crazy and overwhelming at first. I know for me it did. I didn't think I was ever going to understand how to use the program or how to do it well. It seemed like there were so many moving parts and I had no idea what was going on. Um, so hang in there. I know it might seem a little crazy at first. Uh, biggest thing I would suggest is getting on YouTube. There's a lot of good resources and videos on there that can help coach you through uh, kind of how to work CapSim, some strategy videos and things to help you build your foundation before you really dig in. Uh, but also just getting in when you have your practice rounds available and just kind of fiddling with different things. Run at least a couple full, uh, full eight round games so that you have a better idea of what to do. And that'll help you as you get into your, your team uh, competition rounds so that you have a much better idea of how to work CapSim. Um, so hang in there, you'll learn. It won't be too bad, I promise. Um, other than that, the course is pretty straightforward. You'll have some readings, um, some online readings through the Harvard Mentor Manager Program, and they'll have some quizzes associated with those. Um, pretty simple stuff, nothing too crazy, nothing I'd worry too much about. Um, however, you will need to know all of your financial ratios and how to read a fast track report out of CAPSIM. Um, by the time you hit the midterm and the final, you'll definitely know how to read the, the fast track, so I wouldn't worry too much about that. I would just memorize all of your financial ratios. That'll be very, very important for you to do well on your exams. Um, I actually just got on Quizlet. There's, again, some good resources there, some pre-made flashcards that'll help you memorize those ratios. So if flashcards work well for you, I would, I would go ahead and just do that. Um, last thing with group work, you're going to have a lot of different people in different time zones with these online courses a lot of the time. So I would make sure that you coordinate with your group uh, as early as you can with the group assignments and projects that'll come in the, the later part of the semester so that no one's stressing, you're not trying to throw something together in the 11th hour and no one leaves you high and dry or you're not trying to pick up slack for other, other group members that uh, weren't working with you or anything crazy like that. So just get together early and often, that way you know everything's done and taken care of. You can communicate well and make sure everything's done. Um, and that'll, I think, take a lot of stress off everyone when it comes to the group work. So other than that, pretty straightforward. Um, hang in there, you'll do great. And I think uh, by the time it's done, you'll uh, enjoy CapSim. It ends up being more like a game than an assignment. So you'll be excited to see your rounds process and see how many sensors you sell and all that. It'll be pretty good. So excited for you. Good luck. Do good. Hello, hello, new students. Welcome to this exciting module called Business Fundamental. This course requires a lot of your commitment, your dedication, and it is time consuming. When I started, I thought I would not be able to go through to week 14, but here I am, I'm done. Let me tell you a little bit about myself. I'm an educator by profession. I then decided to start business. I have never worked at a firm. I do have teaching experience, of course, but I've never heard of Pepsi or simulation before. This was my very first time to come across something like this, but I'm happy to say I have made it. My advice to you is do your best. You will be working on your own, doing your own rounds for the first four weeks. Please do not, um, do not be behind. Try to work along with time. Because if you are behind, it is very, very difficult for you to catch up. After the fourth week, you'll be grouped and you'll be working with your peers. If you don't understand, please, this is the right time to ask questions. And remember, there are no stupid questions. Work with your group, engage. After you will work alone again, and this is just to make sure if you understood what you were learning when you were in the group. And of course, there are two exams in this module, one in week seven and one at the end of the semester. Please don't fear, gather up all the courage and remember, if I can do it, you can do it. And one more thing, 
you must make sure that you attend all the live meetings that your instructor will be doing. And this will help you to understand everything that you might not find familiar with. Thank you. Hello, everyone. My name is Gustavo. And today I would like to share a few tips with you on how to succeed in this course that you are about to take. So first of all, I encourage you to uh, learn all the key business terms that you're going to have in this course. It's really important. Since I did an accounting course before taking this course, it was kind of easier for me, but if you haven't done, it's going to be essential to learn all the business terms to understand a few assignments in this course. So do this at first. <clears throat> Second, understand how CatSyn works. It's, uh, it's a little bit complex, but the team member guide will help you to understand how CatSyn works. Also, Brother Bakers always do amazing videos with instructions and uh, examples of assignments. So just watch all of his videos. It will help you a lot. And uh, a, third thing, a third thing that I did was watch some YouTube videos. There are a lot of information on YouTube about uh, this course of Capsin. And uh, if you do some research on YouTube, you're going to find a lot of good information, okay? <clears throat> so my next tip is to do the assignments within the due dates. It's important to um, not let accumulate a lot of work. You already have a lot of work during the week, so don't uh, uh, wait until the last time to do uh, the assignments. You can actually make some a timetable or, or a schedule to help you keep on track, okay? And uh, another tip is don't be discouraged by the complexity of capsin. <clears throat> it takes about four to five weeks to really understand uh, what you have to do. Sometimes at first you're going to feel overwhelmed by so much information that you're going to have. But don't worry, Capsim is, is like a, a stair. Step by step, you're going to be um, going forward. So don't worry about the information, but take it slowly, uh, week by week. And uh, uh, without realizing, you're going to know all the information that you need. Okay. And uh, the last tip is be patient. Be patient with yourself. Be patient with your um, <clears throat> teammates. Be patient with uh, uh, the whole program and uh, with this course. You're going to, to succeed if you know how to control everything. So don't worry about uh, um, the complexity of capsin, but just be patient with yourself. Um, learning is a process and now that I finished this course I see that uh, everything that I was scared at the beginning it was just my mind that, that, that was creating everything I succeeded quite well in this course and uh, I just feel that uh, you can also do that but if you if you take time to learn you're gonna be um, it's, it's going to be one of the best courses that you're going to have, as I feel now. This course was amazing, and I'm so grateful that I took this class because it helped me to learn how to manage a company. And uh, just enjoy your time during these next 14 weeks. You have an excellent professor. I can say that it is uh, one of the one of my best professors that I had here on BYU. So I would like to congratulate, congratulate you for taking this course and uh, um, just have fun, have a great time and uh, enjoy every week. Hi everyone, I am Brother Smart Tuguchuku. Uh, we want to share with you 
some of the things that made me successful in this class, business fundamentals. But before I begin, I would want to share with you the fears I had before the class starts. When I heard about the capsule, I was afraid. I got to know about the fast track reports, one of the reports that we utilize in answering quizzes. But it turned out to be so easy for me to understand the fast track uh, reports and utilize them to answer my quizzes perfectly well. So don't be afraid, you will get over it. By the time you do the practice round, the rehearsal rounds, you'll be able to acquaint yourself with you know, Calvin and what it's all about. I would also share with you some of the tactics that I utilize in, you know, in this class that made me successful. Each of the weeks, I do prepare my lesson notes. I can show you, you know, each of the weeks I have a lesson note prepared. And then on the good to great book we read, I have summary of each chapter. Like you can see here, this one is chapter three, confronting the Buddha facts. And uh, you can see this one from the uh, Harvard Management Mentor. One of the you know, lessons we also learned from Harvard mentors. So each of those weeks, I always write notes. So these notes will help me in answering the quizzes. And not only helping me in writing the quizzes, in answering the quizzes, they also serve as reference, you know, because we don't just pass the class and that's for all. We are meant to, you know, apply them in our day-to-day -day life, business life. So keeping notes will help you to remember some of the things you learned. Part of the class I enjoy so much is the reading aspect. Wherein you read, you know, a given um, passages and then use it to answer questions. As I told you that I do keep notes. Those notes help me to answer some of these questions. Sometimes I got, you know, 90% over 100 of all the quizzes because I do read them all of the passages, take notes, then before I take the quizzes, it will help you or not. The quizzes are simple too, but you, you have to study extensive, extensively all the materials because you may not know where the questions will come from. So you will enjoy the class. Don't be afraid. I'm assuring you as we enjoyed it, you also enjoy it not only for passing your classes, it also help you in your future endeavors if you want to go into business or even in your you know, working place. You will really enjoy it. Thank you so much. Hi there. My name is Anaman and I'm from the sunny tropical Caribbean island of St. Lucia. BE211 is a wonderful program. When I read the bio on the course, I was over the moon <laughs> excited about running this virtual simulation of a multi-million dollar corporation. And I always thought that running this would have been something that was very easy to do. And it turned out that was the complete opposite. Coming into the program, I thought, okay, this is business, right? So I would be more business oriented and you know, have nothing really to do with any external programs impacting the way this course operates. But actually coming into, I realized that accounts plays heavily on this program as well, because there's a lot of uh, formulas and functions uh, that relate or tie back to accounting. My fears in the program when I started Capsim especially was knowing if I was doing the right thing you know, we have what we call practice rounds in the beginning of the program 
and you're allowed to experiment with the program nobody's telling you exactly what to do you know you make your own assumptions you play around to see exactly what happens uh, that would have been the most ticklish part of the program because again you're coming in you're not aware of how capsim operates which is um, which can be scary and for me overcoming that was just the best thing that ever happened what helped me to actually be successful in the program I would say is for one I would recommend linking up with um, anybody from your class though you are in groups if you have one person in specific uh, at least that you could speak with outside of your group that helps a lot for me I had one person that made contact with me the very first time that I came on into the program and we've been tied ever since in terms of getting um, me to understand the material uh, in Capsim and know what I'm what I have to do uh, in the beginning of the course you will be given a manual for the program that you ought to read I can't stress enough read 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 that manual if you don't then you will be completely lost so that's important another one is to practice 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 coming in I had no one to tell me you know the rehearsal there's what they call rehearsal rounds the rehearsal rounds are available in the program for the entire duration of the course so before actually entering what they call personal rounds where you don't work with your group anymore or even when you're working with your group if you just want added practice go into the rehearsal rounds uh, and practice in there you know just to make sure that you know what will work what doesn't work now again when you're running through the simulation there are more than one group um, competitors that you go up against so um, no two rounds or no two games should I say uh, well no two games and rounds are the same you know thinking would change strategies would change you could always have to be tweaking th um, stuff around to make sure that you're able to be successful in that round um, before proceeding to the next what I personally enjoyed the most about uh, BA211 um, I would have to say it's Capsim, you know, and, you know, it is your opportunity to run a company. You're in charge or you get the say, the final say in your research and development. You get the final say in marketing. You get the final say in your, um, your production department where you create those items or you, you have the final say in your accounting department. So you run this company and you get to make those decisions. So working as a group will help you definitely for these final rounds. I love it so much. Um, so I highly recommend taking the course. It's, it's, it's beautiful um, and it's an eye opener when it comes to running a company and running your own business. So with that, I hope that I'm able to convince you in some way or the other that this course is amazing. Uh, please go ahead take it if you have any doubts please reach out to your instructor M more than likely that instructor would be the best person to assist you out with CAPSIM uh, and with the program in its entirety there is a lot of reading for this course apart from the CAPSIM simulations especially when you have to do the, ass uh, the quizzes uh, assignments that you have to do so be sure to begin early in the week, especially if you're taking other programs because things tend to clash and it gets a little bit messy. And if you miss out, then it's kind of hard to catch up. So practice, practice, practice. Start early in the, uh, in the week when you get your courses open and just take advantage of it. And always remember, just have fun. Reach out to your teammates, reach out to your class colleagues if you have any questions and definitely use the discussion boards. Anyway, it was a pleasure and hope you enjoy BA211. Hi guys, my name is Benjamin Birch and I just wanted to share with you guys my experience with Capsim. I really love Capsim. I had a lot of fun with this. It's basically like a, uh, getting to play a game and getting school credit for it. So, and my teacher, our teacher was really awesome, my team was really awesome, and I'm actually kind of sad that it's all over, but you're not here for that. You're here for some advice. And what I wanted to share with you is that 
do the training cap sim that has some training goes through all the different things do that do the rehearsal rounds um, do do all that training and print these books they have in capsim um, yep. I found two in capsim and they they have a little bit of different information in, in each of them. I wish it was just one because that's a ton of paper and a lot of reading, but do it. it go through it. There's, there's lots of hidden nuggets of information in there. And uh, AR or accounts receivable lag is key. Think increase. AP lag or accounts payable think decrease. Read through all the reports before ending your your round. Like go through it, read everything because a lot of the information is only in the reports. Like your financial page, it should tell you everything. It should include all your expenses and that kind of thing and give you a complete number at the bottom. It doesn't. It doesn't. That is one thing that's messed me up in Capsim so many times. That number in finance, on the finance page where you're making your decisions for your financial stuff, loans and whatever, it only shows some of the expenses. So you have to go to reports and you have to go through there and you have to make sure that everything's okay. And, and do some calculations on your own too because sometimes it doesn't even show up in reports. Yes. Pet peeve. And then also, uh, in in Capsim, they have it's like it gives you like an estimate of what what your sales are going to be at that price. It, it's just a rough guide. Don't rely heavily on that either. Do your own research. It's just a, a an indicator. Don't count it as being really trusty solid information um, go through the books do the training and experiment in the training sessions and in the beginning rounds the, uh, the practice rounds do your experimenting do your learning don't want being super perfect in the rehearsal and that kind of thing it's just go through learn what happens when I do this what happens when I do that do that then not in the final rounds like I did. <laughs> or you'll look like me. Alright, so um, loans are good. Use them. Keep your ratios between two and three. Uh, and, and learn about the ratios. Learn about all the different lingo. Learn about the formulas. Learn as much as you can. Another uh, thing that I would advise is on the dividends, make sure you're not making your dividends greater than your earnings. Because if your earnings per share are, let's say it's 10 cents and you make the dividend a dollar, you're wasting 90 cents. And because just the way Capsum set up that the investors are going to see and go, oh, that's not, sus that's not sustainable. This guy can't pay out this dividend because his earnings per share, it's not lining up. In real life, there are some investors that do that, but then there's some that just go, wow, big dividend, and then this, 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 so the stock would go up, I think, in real life, a little differently than it does in Capsum, but that's just something to keep in mind. Um, and make sure that you know, you watch, there's so much stuff on YouTube and that kind of thing about, about Capsim. Learn as much as you can. And the fight, and, and work as a team. Uh, in, in your team, make sure that there's healthy debate. It's okay to disagree. It's okay to kind of hash things out. But make sure, you know, you're presenting why you think something with, with data, not just, not just gut hunches. Like, okay, this did this last time. And it's going to grow by this percent, so I think we should do this. And, and it's okay to that the disagreement can make things can make things come out that you didn't notice before. Like maybe you're just going along, entering in your stuff, and your teammates got another point of view, and it's it's a good 
it's the right thing to do hear them out and, and find things that someone in each team member is in charge of uh, like if you have a, someone that's really good with ratios or someone who's really good with the numbers have them check things and that, that that's part of their job and um, just kind of work out the team what what different things do you like to do find out find out the strengths everyone has their different advantages and disadvantages and if you have someone on your team that asks questions don't shut them down those questions can be very helpful I've had um, teammates who they would ask a question and I, I'm just thinking that's like it's obvious why we do that but then when I tried to answer and I really thought about it I was like wait a minute <laughs> why are we doing this uh, so then another thing is the final eight rounds take a long time do not put them all so close together as I did I did most of them in one day and that was a mistake and don't try it or you'll look like me <laughs> all haggard um, and I just want to say that I had a lot of fun doing Capsim and I I mean it's like you're getting you can get college credit for playing a game I recommend I recommend it I, have a, I had a lot of fun there's different things to look out for and, and to try and I liked it and I would do it again have fun guys and I hope I hope all the best for you. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye.